up is get a dog hairy. So <laughs> I know we talk a lot about, at least in my club, um, we talk about the, the agenda, the qualification stage and the closing stage, but we haven't dived in or dove in to these guts moves and really pick them apart. And so I wanted to interview you today about these particular, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 guts moves. And I'd like more clarity on them. And maybe other folks here will get some out of that too. So what I did was I put the each guts move on the wheel of fortune here. Oh God, you gotta see that. Um, he built I his thought... own, hey Claudia, he built his own wheel. He thinks he's Vanna White, he built his own okay. wheel. <laughs> So uh, actually, I think a good place to start on the wheel would be uh, one of these guts moves, which is opposite direction. And you can see on opposite of the of the wheel, I have reject the prospect, which is also a guts move. And I get them a little confused. Can we break down what it means to reject the prospect? And then also, what does it mean then to go opposite? Um, I think there's something with our approach to most prospects. Uh, we subconsciously are, subs most of us are trained to be totally subservient to the prospect. Give them everything they want, answer all their questions, do all the, con everything be subservient. But as your doctor, your lawyer, we say we're also professionals. Do, do our profession, is your doctor, your lawyer, your accountant, your financial advisor, are they subservient to you as a professional? Is that a good way? Do you want someone to be subservient to you that you seek advice from? Nope. No, not at all. Why? That would be no. And give me the why. I need to trust this person. I need to know that they know more than me. Otherwise I'd fix it myself. Yeah, you know, oh, you know, um, Alex, I don't know if this is going to work, man. I've never done this operation before. Uh, oh, we're going to court. Um, I've never, I don't know anybody, the prosecutor, the judge. I've never tried a case before, but I'll do my best. Uh, let me see. Don't you, is that the way you want your professional to sound? No, you're fired. You're fired. So what happens when as a professional and we go to a prospect, hey, I'm here to help you. I'm doing anything you want. Don't worry about it. Me, who cares? But you, we got to, what goes on in the mind of a prospect who's inundated by salespeople like this all day long? We become less than. Yeah. Just uh, Mr. Chamnus, you got a problem. Sir, I, uh, maybe I can help you. you. Mind if I ask a few questions first, see if we can fix this? Um, otherwise, I've got to go. Boom. Good. So the thing about it is act like a professional, ask questions, take the high road. Don't take the subservient road because by nature, human beings are going to beat you up all day long. They're going to take advantage of your sweet nature, Justin, which yeah. you have. Okay, now redirection. I love redirection. This is the uh, opposite, right? This is going opposite, right? Redirection. What do you mean? I'm sure I'm help me out here. I'm not sure if I understand. Uh, when you're talking about the guts moves, you what were just talking. What did I just do to Justin? Yeah, there you go. Redirect. I redirected. Can you help me? I'm not sure if I understand all these good things. Um, Redirection is a fancy word. I'm a psycho babbler. I love studying human behavior. Why do people do the crazy shit they do sometimes, okay? Do you know that people who walk their dogs and take paper bags and, pick, and plastic and they pick up the stuff now? I mean, people are crazy. <laughs> There's things like that going. I love to study <laughs> why people do the things that they do. Uh, and if we can do the opposite or go in the other direction, what does that force them to do? Gee, Jason, uh, uh, Justin, do you, I'm not sure if, hey, why would you want, you don't really want to sell your home, do you? It's a nice home. You want to keep it, don't you? Uh, actually, no, I really want to sell it. Yeah. 
I don't understand. You've been in Independence, Missouri. Isn't that the home of Harry Truman? <laughs> it's the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Garden of Eden. It's a great little town. I've been to Independence, by the way. You have an awesome museum there. You want, you've been there for years, you're, all your life. You don't want to really leave. You don't want to leave. You don't want to sell that. Why would you want to sell a beautiful home there? Mm, that's powerful. Why would you want to do that? Mm. Role play. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, um, I've got this new opportunity uh, for work in a different state. And uh, but not right away. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. Oh, that's congratulations on that. You, you don't have to move right away, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm supposed to be there within uh, 30 days. And, uh, you know, I know that's not a lot of time to get this done. I was hoping I could have the house sold by then. But if we can, I guess I might end up just renting it out. Yeah, that's what you did do. Tenant and tenants always pay on time and take care of the property. And you're moving what a thousand miles away, so I'm sure there's no issues if you to watch your property or anything like that. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I, I had a, a yeah off the I'm role a, plate. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Somebody, what am I doing? Am I am I am I going in the opposite yeah. direction of the average of? Most salespeople are very direct. I'm going to go in the opposite right way. Why? This is the big why question. How do you say it without sounding smart ass? Okay, right, let them tell you. I, I kind of sound, I feel like when I do this technique, Claude, I, I come off a little smart ass sounding. I am like, a smart ass. But I mean, but here's the thing. Part of being a great gut salesman is also being a great actor, thespian, the word I use. Okay, you've got to play a role. Uh, you know, we're on a stage. Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage. We're all actors in it. When you're speaking to someone, it is your job to play a role. So what do you want to make that, how do you want to make that prospect feel? I mean, you got to be a good actor too. What happens if we're a bad actor? Oh, this person's right. playing me, right? right. Oh, he's right. trying to get something from me. This right. is, Right. But if you're a good actor, okay, I don't mean to brag, but I was an onion in third grade. 